So, pretty bad date, huh? We haven't even ordered drinks yet. You didn't even give him a chance. I completely did. Lots of one. Josie says you're just starting Breaking Bad. Yeah. Yes, I am. Huh? Good show. I like it. Me too. It's really good. Sounds like a real disaster. Oh, I would have welcomed a disaster. At least then I'd have a story. So, do you have any siblings? I do. I do. Neat information. But he's such a nice guy. You two have so much in common. I thought I alley-ooped this one real good. In what sense would you have alley-ooped something? I did a sports thing at it. I did a nice job, you know what I mean. Nah. Well, some people need time to open up, and I will be darn tootin' if I'm gonna let you write off Alex just based off- So, you're gay. We are literally on a date. There, there wasn't a question mark at the end of that sentence. I, I'm saying you are gay, as in so am I. That's why Josie set us up. It's a thing that we- both have. Yes, happens all the time. You know, if, if a straight person's gonna set up another straight person, it's like, who shares their interests? Who would be a good fit? Who would make them laugh? But if they're setting up a gay person... What other gay person do I know? <laughs> Tale as old as time. Oh, hate that movie. Oh, why? I appreciate it, but please, don't set me up with anyone else ever again. Because you are not good at it. Um, excuse my toot? Don't get me wrong, we had all kinds of sex. The good kind, the weird kind, the... We did it sideways, but we just weren't a good fit. Because you're not good at knowing why two people would want to date each other. <laughs> Which I wouldn't read too much into if I were you. Though, I'm sure you're still competent as a woman who works at a dating website. You just don't understand that much about your close friend, or dating, or love. Bye. I'll show you, Max. I'll show every Max. I really want to help you help Max. Yes, good. So... I'm so paralyzed with joy that you're talking to me like a peer that I can't think of or do anything else. Do you like music? Lar, you're a nightmare. Elise, I need to talk to you about Max. Red hair, safe, move, witch, black hat, pussycat, Josie. Josie, what can I do for you? I need your help finding a really great date for Max. You were wise to come to me. Who is Max? Tall, has had many conversations with you. Is this a power play? We've all worked here for years. I think I'd remember that. Because I do. Yes, it was a power play. Now, hand me your sweater. It's stained, but it, it's clean. I clean it. I know who Max is, Joreen, but I couldn't set him up because I don't know anything about him. In the same way that I know who Huey, Dewey, and Lewis are, but I couldn't tell you which goose was the funny one and which was the brainiac. Actually, the ducks are each all of those things. They had no distinguishable personalities, and their shirt colors would change depending on the artist. There was even a fourth duck named Fooey who would appear based on which artist was drawing them at the time. Anyway, uh, doesn't seem like you were hinting you wanted to know more about Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but if you do, because of all the cool things I just said, then I am available for chats. We can call them quack chats. We cannot call them quack chats. We cannot call them anything at all if you're feeling sour, but just know I am available for that. I'm sorry, Josie, I can't help you. I only know one useful fact about Max, and I'm saving it in case I have to destroy him. It's the end of procedure for all of my employees. Watch, this is how I walk away. Hello, Josie. I kind of want to give her my sweater. Is that weird? What are you guys up to tonight? I was going to sit for a while. Do either of you know any cute dudes who also like to sit for a while? Tonight? Tonight, I am going to find you a date. I would love it if you did. Oh, you'll love, all right. You're going to love this next guy straight to the wedding car. Once again, please don't, because you're bad at it. Bad! 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 Secret truth! You know, you could just set him up with Rush. Max hates Rush, because Max is in a special group called Everybody. I don't know. Rush has a blind enthusiasm that I think would balance well with Max's tempered pragmatism. Well, that's actually true, you butthole. Sorry, knee jerk. It's fine. I'm a little surprised. This... this was a great idea. I know. I'm a pretty great idea. I mean, I have the pretty ideas. 
I know. Yes, you're pretty great. Thank you. So we're in Breaking Bad. Oh my God, yes. Just started season two. Amazing. Have you eaten meth? They make it seem so yummo. Feels like you're missing the fundamental message of the show, but sure, blue's a good flavor. Mm, yum, 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 yum. You didn't fill up on meth before this, right? No, no, definitely okay. not. Hey, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rum.com. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it. We're gonna do one every Wednesday from now until the first Wednesday in March, and then maybe some more down the line if you guys like the show and you watch it a whole bunch. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Unless, again... I, I don't even know if this will come out anywhere near. It's, I mean, but... explicitly you know that one of them is the first Wednesday in March. It's about love. Love is in the air. That's true. Why are we in the after hours diner? Holy shit! Right?